it will only take approximately five minutes of your time. Uh-huh. And your opinions are very important to us. And to show our appreciation, we would, just, we would like to offer you a $20 honorarium if you qualify and complete our survey. $20 honorarium? Yes. What is an honorarium? Like a check? Oh, it's a check? Yes. Well, why did you call it an honorarium if it's a check? I'm just required to say that. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so I'll get a $20 check if I answer these questions. Yes. Okay. If you qualify and complete our survey? If I, if I qualify? And complete. It's only five. It'll only take approximately five minutes of your time, sir. And then if I qualify, then I get the twenty dollars. Well, how do I know if I qualify? Oh, I'll let you know. Oh, so, well, what happens if I go through the whole five minutes and I don't qualify? Then I don't get the honorarium. Oh. Um. I mean, I just want to know that I'm going to get the twenty dollars if I sit through the five minutes. Is that not? There's no way to guarantee me that. This sounds like a credit card offer where they. Invite me to apply. Oh, no, we're not um, trying to, well, we're not trying to sell you anything. Okay, but, but, the, but the $20, you know, I could use that $20. How can I get okay, Oh, okay, well, to, I'll make a long story short. Um, um, it's like a panel we're doing. It's, it's free, and it's where you can, if you were, if you, where you can conduct surveys online. Uh-huh. And... I mean, we're not, we're not, we don't have nothing to hide. We're not selling anything, and and you know, it, we're, if you um, if you complete qualifying, complete our survey, and um, you, you can, if you join the panel, you can get like incomplete surveys on there at a time that's convenient for you. Um, if you sign up for it, you can get um online, you can get like you know, cash or online gift certificates, and you know, you can subscribe at any, you can unsubscribe at any time if you don't, if you do not want to, and you can just join the panel. Um, you know, at, like, you can have, like, an email address where we can send you the stuff at, the now, now, let me get this straight. But you have to... To get to 20 bucks, I got, I got to answer these questions. It takes about five minutes. And then I also will have to join this panel to receive more questions to get to 20 bucks. You can unsubscribe at, at any time. But I could quit at any time. Can I unsubscribe right now and still get the 20 bucks? Uh, you, um, you, you first have to agree, agree to join the panel in order to receive the 20 All right, well, I'm agreeing to join, and then now... But we have I to can... first complete, we have to first ask you a few questions, and then I, I have to ask you, it'll only take about a couple minutes to just ask you these three questions right first, sir. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Well, so what do we got to do first to give me my 20 bucks? Uh, first, are you the person who is most knowledgeable about the telephone services used at this company by this lo- at this location? Well, now, let me ask you a question. If I say no to that, will I immediately be disqualified for the 20 bucks? Or do I have to say yes to that? Well, you will say, well, we'll ask you for somebody else. Oh, so you're telling me if I say no, I won't get the 20 bucks? Correct. Oh, well, then, yeah, I'm the guy. I'm the guy most knowledgeable about phone systems. Go on, what's the next question? Is the primary business of your company market research? Now, if I, let me ask you a question. Now, if I was to say no, that the primary business was not market research, would I still be qualified? Yes. Okay, well then, if we know, we're not market research. Go on, what's the next question? This is not bad. It's okay. What type of telephone system is used by this location of your company? Is it TVX versus private branch exchange? That's a telephone system with a separate control unit which is installed in your building and which usually requires you to dial a specific number, usually an 890 to make an outside call. Or would that be centric service? It's similar to a PBX in that it usually requires dialing a number first, such as 890 to make an outside call. But the control unit switching equipment is located at the local telephone company's location. Our key system is a telephone system with a separate on-site control unit that allows you to use all of your phone lines at each phone, usually by pushing a button on the phone to engage a line. Or do you have plenty of telephone service? It's ordinary telephones which cannot handle more than one income and call to the same telephone number at the same time without using car waiting. Wow, that's hard. Um, well, I guess. Or which one do you use? Uh, could you go to that list one more time? Alright, right, oh, oh, well, to make it, long story short, do you have to, um, like, do you, would you have to dial an 89 or, zero, or a 0 to make an outside call, sir? Well, I have to dial a 1 before the area code. Alright, I mean, 
quite, but, yeah, um, I, um, I'd like to say, to make a local call, would you have to dial an 8 9 or 0 to make an outside call? An 8 9 or a 0? Yes. Only if it's in the number. Okay, or, so, or would the, okay, well. Now, sometimes, like, if the number starts with a 9, then I have to dial a 9. And if it's... If I, before, um, like, before you, before dialing the regular telephone number? No, only if it's part of the regular telephone. All right, and okay, so then it would probably be a key system. It would be a telephone system with a separate on-site control unit that allows you to use all of your phone lines at each phone. What does the on-site control unit look like? Um, so I can tell if I have one. I don't, I don't have the information, sir. Well, how do I know that? Well, do you, well, do you have to push a button on the phone to get a line? Yeah. All right, well, that, that would be that then. And how many key lines or trunks does your company's phone system have? Be sure to count any lines that you have which are dedicated to a fax machine or for internet access in your total. Um, well, I don't know how many lines I have. Well, your best estimate will be fine. My best estimate will be fine? Yes. to the lines you just mentioned, do you have any other lines that are not connected to your key systems? Um, yes. All right, how many other lines do you have? Again, please remember to include um, lines that are used solely for a fax machine or for internet connections in your total. Well, I guess I got one. Have, hey, that, hey, it's been about five minutes, right? 20 bucks. Oh. Uh, Oh, I just have to ask you like a few more questions, sir. Well, well how am I doing? Good. Oh, okay, good. All right. Which of the following describes your decision-making responsibility for the local telephone services used by your business? Are you one of the primary decision makers? A key influencer? You have influence into the decision-making process, but don't make the final decision. Or are you not all involved? I don't make the decision. Are you a key influencer? Um, a key influencer. They've never called me that. Oh, uh, like, do you have influence into the decision-making process, but don't make the final decision? I want to think that, but I don't know for sure, you know? Sometimes I think they laugh at me behind my back. Uh, oh, so you would probably say you were a key influencer? Well, I want to think, yeah. I want to think. Me out, or am I still in the running? I don't know, but if you're a key influencer, um, let me see. You have influence into the decision making, all right? Uh, which of the which company do you consider to be the primary supplier for local service at the locations for which you have decision making responsibility? Um, who is the local service provider? Yes. Um, you mean like? Like, oh, I know. It's American Electric Power. Uh, American Electric Power? Yeah. Not like AT&T or South Africa? Well, AEP is what they call it. Excuse me? Oh, all right. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, those are all the questions I had for you today. Do you need an address to send that 20 bucks to? Uh, um, oh, no, thank you. We got it. Well, how could you have it? Uh, but, well, actually, right. well, actually, sir... You didn't qualify? Oh, man! What do you mean I didn't qualify? I thought I was getting 20 bucks. Oh, uh, you um, didn't use the company we was looking for. I'm sorry, sir. Man, I can't believe you squirreled me out of 20 bucks. Let me speak to your supervisor. Oh, for one moment. All right.
I think that guy hung up on me. 